what's up everybody Wayne here our time adventures heading down to our hunting property I uh, got a late start this morning but um getting close at least it is very chilly out I'm um, looking at the, the thermometer in the truck it says 17 degrees I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not but one good sign is I've seen a bunch of deer in pretty much every field I've passed so far. I may be too late, you know, for the morning uh, for the morning hunt, but get settled in the stand, and then you know, hopefully, hopefully, if I miss the morning hunt, I get a decent uh, afternoon hunt. All right, I'll see you guys when I get set up in my stand. The deer actually ran, I'd say probably about 50 feet, maybe 75 feet, and um, just laid down. Probably laid there, we can see in the video, I don't know, two, three minutes. Got up and ran past me. You can see me, I, 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 drew, I drew on it to try and, try and take another shot, but it's so thick, I couldn't get a shot. So um, he laid there for, I don't know, probably 45 minutes. Gets up and then starts walking like towards the front of the property out where out where my truck is, and then I heard him fall, and he's laying up against a tree. So I sat there for I'd say I sat in the, sat in the stand now for another hour, right? And then I get up and then that's what that's when you seen um you seen him pop up when I got close to him. Uh, I I was watching him from the stand. Didn't see any movement, and you can see I stood there for a couple minutes. I was trying to see if his if his um if his rib cage was moving right to see if he was breathing or not. Never moved. Never never made any kind of movement whatsoever. I took that step to um to get close to him, and he was up and gone. So one thing I know for sure is. I, I wear cheaters all the time for you know reading blueprints and being on the computer and all. I think it's time for me to go and get some glasses because it definitely I thought I put a really good shot on him. 
Um, you'll see later in the video, you know, with tracking him and all. But um, I think it's time for time for me to go get some glasses because I, I don't. I guess I didn't take as good a shot as what I thought I took. Okay, back to the um, back to the video, trying to trying to find this deer. Recording with my phone now. I um, finally picked up the the trail, and it uh, comes right down here to the hard road. And over into, I'm thinking, goes across this field and over to this, to this river. So I put my, um, put my rifle away. I'm going to check and, uh, I hate walking across my field, but I'm going to go over and see if I can see blood. He might just be right over this little hill and I can't even see him. Nah, it doesn't look like it. I think he probably made it over to the river. He may be gone. It's a shame. That was a nice deer. There's some good blood here. He's bleeding pretty good. Yeah, I see some blood actually out on the road. Let's hope I don't fall and break my neck going down here. this field Blood trail just stops. Well, I followed the uh, blood trail all the way down to the river. He went down into the river, and then uh, obviously no more trail. So I'm hoping that another hunter gets him because there's a there's a lot of guys that hunt that that farm over there. I really don't want them to just go to the coyotes. Because that would definitely be a shame. He's a he's a really good deer. Definitely the one that's been rubbing all the big trees around here, I'm sure. But you never know. Maybe there's another one around. I'm going to uh, head back up to the truck. Get, uh, get my camo all back on and uh, head out to the stand again. Still now, still have a buck tag to fill. And um, a doe tag. So, fingers crossed, and God willing, I'll still be able to fill them tags. All right, see y'all when I get back up in the up in the stand.
so as you can see we I looked everywhere I um I actually s searched the property finally picked up the blood trail where he like slid down the hill and onto the hard road there was like three drops of blood again you know across the road then I saw like two I don't know drops of blood about like that in the field didn't find anything walk back and forth um, went all the way down to the stream or it's actually it's more in a stream it's kind of like a small river and um, nothing I figured you can see where the deer are coming using this this path and um, didn't get anything no you know no more blood so got up early this morning headed back down asked the um, farmer for permission to search his farm you know told him what happened and um, nothing we could not find anything couldn't find couldn't find a drop of blood anywhere so um, I'm thinking you know I must have just grazed him and uh, I mean it seems like a little bit too much blood for grazing but you never know um, but definitely couldn't find him. We we looked and looked and looked. Couldn't find any blood. Um, couldn't find a deer. So, um, you know, never know. Maybe I see him later this week. To, that would be fantastic. We're heading. Aston's going to go down with me, and we're gonna we're gonna hunt this weekend. And then there's one more week, which will be next week. I still have a buck and a doe tag to fill. So, um. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you could hit the subscribe button um, and hit the like and the notification and please share our videos with all your friends. Appreciate you for watching.